it was not that long ago, uh, although I'm sure it kind of seems like it, that you started in this league. And I know this is a kind of a big question, but I wonder where you've seen yourself grow as a person, not necessarily as a player, but as a person. When I got over here, I was 18 years old. You kind of think you're pretty grown up by then, but as time goes on, you realize you're not that grown up when you're 18. So I think every year I've been here, I've been growing as a person. It's no more about how I take care of myself, what works and what doesn't. Every year I get older, there's things you learn and I think I'm pretty old now, but in a couple of years, I'm probably gonna look back and think I could have made things differently, but uh, yeah. You thought you knew a whole lot when you were 18 and first got here and then what have you, you know, what have you kind of incorporated into your game between now uh, and then and, and what makes you a, a, a critical you know, player to be uh, on the ice? I think uh, being here uh, has helped me develop a lot as a player in every aspect of the game. Also, I think the more you play, uh, the more experience you get, you get more comfortable being out there. But I think every year that since I got here, I've been getting a little bit better every year and uh, hopefully I can take the next step soon. Who surprised you the most during this camp? Who stuck out to you? I've been talking to a few of the guys of Lilligren and uh, I just thought that uh, there just seems to be a, a tremendous amount of maturity and growth, I think, in just his game and just the authority as we were entering training camp. And then I think even just as we were going through the week of camp, you know, I don't think he ever jumps off off the page with what he does, but I think you could just see his assertiveness. And he made some really good strides coming up last year and playing some really important minutes. I couldn't help but notice uh, that in the preseason, John Tavares had some uh, really nice things to say about your game and, and how you were playing. And I wonder what, uh, well, I wonder if you, you'd heard that. And then the other thing is just, you know, how uh, nice is it to hear that from a player of John Tavares's caliber? I actually didn't know he said that. That's nice. Just knowing he said that means a lot. He's such a great leader. He's been in the league for a long time. He's a leader both on and off the ice just to see how he goes about his day every day and uh, make sure he's ready to compete on the ice. It's to be inspiration and uh, it means a lot coming from him, for sure. Well, and I, I think back to that, that short window of, of training camp and you get an opportunity to, you know, to play against those guys and who amongst them that would you say that that is a really tough assignment to try and defend against? There's a bunch. I mean, there's so many guys that's fast, uh, can skate fast. Uh, those are really hard to get, defend against. And obviously the Matthews, Marner, uh, Newlander, Tavares, uh, their skill set is so high. So you you have to be really sharp to, to have a chance to defend against them. And uh, uh, that's what makes you better, I think, to, to compete against those guys and uh, learn from it. What would you see uh, on a highlight reel from a coach that uh, that would be positive? What, what would you like and what, what, what do they like? I think as a defenseman, you just want to, first of all, be able to defend against their team and not letting the puck go into your own net. Delivering pucks to forwards and uh, follow up in the rush and trying to create scoring chances. But first and foremost, to, to defend the well, I think.